When you think about solar power, chances are you picture those shiny silicon panels that dominate rooftops and solar farms worldwide. But what if I told you that a silent revolution is happening right now? One that might replace traditional silicon panels with a completely different technology. Cadmium, telluride or CDT solar panels are taking the industry by storm and they might just become the future of solar energy. But you may say why? Because they offer better performance in extreme heat, are cheaper to produce and have the potential to reshape utility scale solar installations around the globe. Some even say that silicon's days are numbered, but that's not all. What if I told you that cadmium, a toxic heavy metal, is the secret ingredient in making these panels so efficient? And even more surprising, despite using a toxic substance, these panels might end up being better for the environment in the long run. Sound crazy? Stick around, like and subscribe, because by the end of this video, you'll understand why CDT could overtake silicon and what that means for the future of clean energy. Silicon panels are currently the gold standard of the solar industry and there's no denying that they've brought us a long way. They're efficient, long lasting and widely available. But here's the catch. Silicon panels are expensive to produce and the manufacturing process is energy intensive, generating a hefty amount of carbon emissions. Even though prices for silicon panels have fallen over the years, the race for cheaper and more sustainable alternatives is getting fiercer. Plus, silicon struggles in extreme temperatures when the sun is blazing, these panels lose a significant chunk of their efficiency making them less ideal for the hottest regions of the world where solar energy is needed the most. And this is where CDT panels come in as a game changer. CDT panels offer some unique advantages that silicon panels can't match. One of the biggest strengths of CDT is how it handles heat. These panels maintain high efficiency even when the temperature rises, something that traditional silicon struggles with. CDT also performs better in low light and cloudy conditions, meaning it can generate more electricity even when the weather isn't ideal. But here's the kicker. CDT panels are cheaper and faster to produce thanks to their thin film technology. This process requires less raw material and energy to manufacture, making them more environmentally friendly during production. And as demand for large-scale solar farms continues to grow, CDT's cost effectiveness and high temperature performance give it a clear edge. Now, I know what you're thinking. Cadmium is a toxic heavy metal. Doesn't that make CDT panels dangerous? Surprisingly, no. While cadmium in its raw form is toxic, when combined with telluride in these panels, it's chemically stable and poses minimal risks during use. In fact, companies like First Solar, the world leader in CDT technology, have introduced robust recycling programs to safely handle and reuse cadmium from old panels. And compared to silicon manufacturing, which leaves a large carbon footprint, CDT's smaller energy requirements during production make it a greener option in the long run. When disposed of properly, these panels could actually have less environmental impact than their silicon counterparts. The benefits of CDT panels become most apparent in utility scale solar farms, especially in hot and sunny climates where traditional silicon panels underperform. Countries like India, Australia and regions across the Middle East are already considering CDT technology for large solar projects because it offers better performance under extreme conditions. And because these panels are more affordable, they can drive down the costs of large scale solar installations, bringing clean energy to more people. As governments and companies look for ways to reduce the cost of renewable energy, CDT technology is proving to be the smarter choice. And with the world shifting towards net zero emissions, we need solar solutions that can scale fast. 
something CDT is uniquely positioned to deliver. Does this mean silicon panels are doomed? Not necessarily. Silicon still dominates the residential solar market where homeowners value its proven reliability and efficiency. But in utility scale applications where performance in extreme heat and cost efficiency are key, CDT panels are already starting to outshine silicon. Solar companies are investing heavily in research and production capacity with plans to rapidly expand their CDT production to meet growing demand. As CDT panels continue to evolve and become more widely available, we could soon see massive solar farms powered entirely by this new technology. A shift that could redefine the solar industry for decades to come. Now we can say that it's not just about which technology is better. It's about scaling renewable energy quickly and affordably. And with its low cost, superior heat tolerance and efficient production, CDTE is proving to be the perfect candidate for the next generation of solar power. While silicon panels might still have a place in the market, it's clear that CDT technology is gaining momentum. Some experts believe that in the next decade, we could see CDTE panels become the dominant force in large scale solar. If you've been following the solar revolution, this is definitely a trend to watch. So the next time you see a solar farm, take a closer look, because those panels might not be the silicon you're used to. And there you have it. CDT solar panels are proving to be a powerful alternative to traditional silicon panels, offering better performance in extreme conditions and more cost-effective production. With the need for clean energy growing every day, it's only a matter of time before CDT starts replacing silicon in key areas of the industry. So what do you think? Will cadmium panels be the future of solar energy? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more updates on the latest in solar technology.